guys, it's modman 0 here today, and I'm actually going to bring you a kind of like a skate review today. Um, I want to also say Merry Christmas, or, you know, Happy Holidays, or whatever. And I actually got these for Christmas. I got some Bones Reds bearings for Christmas, and today I'm going to do a first impressions and review of them, and mount them into... So, let's get this started. So when you receive your reds bearings, they're pretty much going to come in a little box like this. Now, it would have plastic wrap over it, um, and my box is a little bit broken when it came. But it will have plastic wrap over it, and it will either ship in a bag or a, another box, and it will have plastic wrap over it in this box. So, then you can basically slide the cover off of your bearings box and basically the cover just has um specs and stuff on it focus focus please it's not gonna focus oh well but it basically has the specs and stuff on it so when you open your next little box here and you get a nice sticker your manual and stuff saying how to clean, how to remove, how to install, you know, your bearings and your bearings. And pretty much the pamphlet says that these are ready to skate out of the box. So, yeah, let's throw them into a board and see how well they skate. Hey guys, I'm sorry for the extremely cluttered workbench, but I have a couple of things going on right now. And basically what you're going to do for your bearings is first, you're going to unbolt your wheel, take off your wheel, take your bolt and either put it back on your axle or just put it somewhere where you won't lose it. Then, you're going to okay, take your skateboard down. Have space to work with your wheel. And I don't have a bearing puller, so I basically do this with a screwdriver and a hammer, is how I did it last time, to separate and knock the bearings. Out. So Here's one, and then two. Grab something to tap out the other one. So once you get your bearings out, then you grab your new bearings, and if you have, um, if you have, like, if you got washers and stuff, now is when you'd put those in. But since I didn't get washers, I'm just basically going to be doing this with just the bearings. I didn't get spacers and stuff. So you want to put the bearing on, and you want to press it into the wheel. Then you want to get your other bearing. Press that on with the truck. Okay, and then you want to take your nut and tighten, and you'll be good. And then you just have to do that four times. When getting your bearings set up, or your wheels on and set up, you really want there to be a little bit of wiggle room, so but not a lot. So it still spins, but there's not a lot of wiggle room. So guys, once you get your, um, like, four, I guess, pairs of bearings installed, and you have your wheels, oh, nice, um, and you have your wheels tightened down properly, um, you're pretty much good to go, and you can go riding, or cruising, or whatever you want, um, so yeah, now I have brand new bearings in my wheels. Thanks for watching. And, uh, 
Hope you guys all have a good day.